Make with me, Jessica, and welcome to my channel. And this is pretty much a channel that's focused on getting everything on a budget. So it's like beauty, fashion, home stuff, just whatever. So if this is the channel for you, you can go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment, and all that good stuff. And if you want to see what I got, please take some. So I'm back with another candle haul. And all of these candles are from Aldi, and you know... I literally go to Aldi like every week, every other week, and I've been trying to like go through all my candles, but for me going through all my candles, I always buy new ones, and I got like, one, two, three, four, five, I got six candles, and two of these I talked about in my previous Aldi candle haul, so I will link it somewhere in the card, so we'll get into those first. So, the first two, like I said, I already mentioned this in my first candle haul. And they are from Huntington Home. And these are the lemon buttercream and the cereal milkshake. And I like these both. And if you haven't seen the first video, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But this one, it just, it honestly smells like a cereal milkshake. Like, if you got, like, Fruit Loops like fruity pebbles or something like any kind of like fruity cereal you mix it with milk and like you know how the milk will smell i don't know if y'all smell the milk but it's like that fruity milky kind of scent this is not the strongest but it still smells pretty decent and i think i got these for $2.49 and i got my receipt right here so no, yeah, I got these for $240. So, these two were $240. And this one is lemon buttercream. And I think I told y'all, this smells like lemon icing, like a lemon like cupcake. And I actually have one of these in my bedroom right now that I just started burning. And this smells really good. Now, I feel like these are perfect for year round. But since we are in the spring these are really good for that the second candle i got i got this on sale and i'm thinking this was like a christmas candle but they are just now getting rid of some of their candles because i saw like these kind of candles and it looked like they had like candles with like saint patrick's day kind of decoration but whatever and if you get this one, be careful because when I was checking out, I had another one of these. I had one of these and then the guy, poor thing, he was new, so I'm not going to blame him. This top does not close all the way, so this top had broke when he put it in the buggy. If y'all not from the south, the buggy just a shopping cart when he put it in the buggy. So, I had to get another one. But anyway, this is... Cinnamon pine cone. This is from Huntington Home, and this is how the packaging looks like. And you see, it got like that pine cone, dark like outside packaging. Like I said, this is the top. So I'm assuming this is like a Christmas candle. I think I got this from one forty nine, and it's got like a cinnamony. Ain't nothing like pine cones. Kind of sweet. You know, like when it's like the fall time, fall and winter time, they have like those cinnamon pine cones that be in the bag that's kind of like spicy and whatever. This is kind of like what it smells like, what a slight, I guess, earthiness, I guess you could say. I think it smells really good. I'm not really too particular about burning something that might be like out of season. I really don't care that much but it is what it is so i'm gonna burn this one i'm just going to really be really careful with this top because i know i'm clumsy and i'm dropping so yeah this is the cinnamon pine cone candle also by huntington home i was like i think all these are <laughs> okay i'm back i dropped my mic lord <laughs> So anyway, like I was saying, before I really interrupted myself, all of these candles are for Huntington Home except for one. The next one that I have is also by Huntington Home, and I think this one was like $5.99, and this is, I did a short on this, so you might have already seen a short if you haven't, 
you, you, you get it. So this is the Limoncello Creme Brulee Candle. And it's soy, with a soy blend scented candle. Think of this one as like the Lemon Buttercream's cousin. I haven't lit this one yet. Hopefully this one will be a little bit stronger than the Lemon Buttercream, but it smells pretty similar. And this is how it looks. Like I said, it smells so good. It smells very similar to the lemon butter cream. Like I just been like opening the top, just smelling it because I just really enjoy how it smells. It smells like a lemon baked good, and I think I really like that. It has some other ones. I don't remember the uh, the name of the other scents, but if it's like the ones in this packaging. And it's like 10 packaging. This was the only one that I really liked. So I would say definitely give the lemon cello creme brulee a try if you like anything lemon scented. And honestly, I think I'm a bit on the roll. I got like a bit of citrus ones. I think I got only two more. Anyway, the next one that I have is, of course, behind this at home. This is citron and cilantro. And this is $4.49. It smells really good. Like it's a three wick. And it's like this doesn't smell like a baked good like the other two. Because the other two kind of smell like lemon cookies, lemon cupcakes, icing, stuff like this. This is more like if I had to describe it like a fresher lemon. It's still lemon, but since it has cilantro in it, you still get that green kind of soapy element. And the funny thing is, I was just talking to my boyfriend this morning, and I was just like, you know how some people, when they eat cilantro, it's like it tastes like soap to them, and other people, they don't have to like worry about that. I'm one of those people that can eat cilantro without it tasting like soap, but... This is like lemony, slightly soapy kind of green. So I like this one. And they had like other ones that had this one, Bayberry Vanilla, which I just got done burning the smaller version of that. That was okay. White peach cobbler or something like that, which I feel like it smells nice. I don't feel like it will project the way I want it to. Sand Dunes, Agave Blossom. A lot of people like Agave Blossom. I feel like this one's a little bit too floral for my taste, so I don't really care for that one. But if you look in your local Aldi, you'll find a lot of candles in this packaging and in this packaging. And they also got another one that was in this big packaging, which was... Tobacco petals. I also like tobacco petals, which I think I discussed in my first video. I like tobacco petals that's in this packaging, and the candle is white. It smells really good, and I don't know. I've been leaning towards tobacco candles. Like, I don't like tobacco fragrances per se, but I'll do a tobacco candle if it's mixed with something nice. So, anyway... Oh, this was quick. So, the very last candle that I have, and I don't know if they still have these at Aldi, because I don't think I seen them when I went to Aldi today. But this one is not from Huntington Home. This is from Barissimo Coffee, and this is Peach Bourbon number 7. And you see it has, like, the dark packaging. It just have a little the coffee bean on top and they have several scents of these I think I got this one I got this one and the limoncello last week and they had peach bourbon pecan bourbon and vanilla bourbon and I think vanilla bourbon smell really good um pecan bourbon it really smelled more like pecans and coffee and then this one well, all of these, they are like the coffee-based, like, candles. So, you're really going to get a hint of coffee when you smell them. So, with this one, it's like, you smell the peach, 
You definitely smell the coffee. I can see how you smell a little bourbon in it, but you mostly gonna be smelling peach and you're mostly gonna smell coffee when you smell it. I'm kind of curious about how this would burn. And I should have probably got the vanilla bourbon. The peach bourbon was okay. It just kind of remind me of butter pecan ice cream with some coffee in it. What a shot of Jack. <laughs> I don't know. But that was kind of the vibe that it gave me but this one smells really good i feel like this one will probably be the more i'm not gonna say challenging this will be the candle that has a little bit more depth it's not just like oh it's fresh oh it's clean oh it's sweet like a gourmand and everything like that i feel like this has a little something extra to it and plus the packaging is cute and i think that's pretty much it i've been really on a roll with getting different candles from aldi because i think their candles smell good and i feel like for the price some of them can be hit or miss but i feel like for the price some of them are pretty decent and what and they also got like little cute little wax melts and they also had like some other candles i think that was supposed to be like inspired by like joe malone like candles and I don't remember the exact, like, notes and names of them. I smelled those. They had those at Aldi, too. But I honestly was not that impressed. They did not smell that great to me. And they had some other ones that had, like, I think it was, like, ceramic kind of looking on the outside. They had, like, a whole bunch of different candles. They got, like, wax melts and stuff. So, if you're just in Aldi and you're just looking around and... You should go on that random section with like the home stuff and the Aldi finds or whatever. I mean, I honestly suggest you give the Aldi candles a try. You might like them because it's like Yankee candles can kind of get up there. And I like a little bit of good, bad, by the words candle. Don't get me wrong. But they're getting more and more expensive. And I'm not trying to pay $25, $50, $26. For one candle and pretty much for all of these i pretty much paid like probably like the amount for like two or three small bad and white words candles and like one big bad and white words candle so i feel like that's a very good deal and if you don't like them like i said at the most depending on which all do you go to they might have them on sale for like 99 cents for the small candles, $2.49, $4.49, $5. It's like, okay, you might not necessarily have the money to waste, but it's, it's not like you wasting $25 versus you waste that five. Well, I can't say what you do with your money. But if you want to try them, try them. I haven't had any issues with all the candles yet, and I've been getting them. Around like the past year or some change, I think. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show my face as it's still like really nice outside. I can kind of take advantage of the natural light coming in. I think I'm doing pretty good with the red and the melon. That's dry. We're going to my hair is it completely dry. And that's pretty much it. So if like I said, if y'all ever tried all the candles and you have some you think I should try let me know down below if you have any one of these and want to give your opinion let me know if you just want to talk to me and hey, what's up I'm cool let me know criticism all that stuff just hey I'm here for it and whatever video suggestions you know just comment on that stuff I I don't know that anyway but <laughs> that's pretty much it I'm going to put these candles up and I'm going to light this one that I got from Ross that's over there. And I also got a video on that one as well. So, check that out. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put this stuff up and I'm going to get ready to fix me something to eat because I'm kind of hungry. So, bye y'all and until next time. Bye.